are the power speaker because you've spoken so much trying to get to that CC. We, I applaud you on that. I don't think you've done it. I would have had to have been taking some something to calm me down, having to give speeches like that back to back. But you're, you're doing a great job. The purpose of your speech was to persuade with power. What I, the first thing I noticed was your opening, caught, it caught my attention. And you were pointing out, you did it, you did it, and you did it. I'm wondering, what did I do? So that really caught my attention. So you really pulled us in with, you, with your opening. Mm. The persuading part, however, I thought, mm was lacking and only because your voice was so pleasant throughout the speech. In my opinion, I, I think that you would have been more persuasive if you were more, more serious and more, maybe even more stern with your voice than what you were. The information was excellent. I have heard of fair tax and I like how you, you gave good, you gave, you gave good statistics. You gave the um, 380, $358 billion to the government if we went to fair taxes. Um, and you kind of, when you mentioned the 23% for sales tax, you, you, you let us, you, you kind of let us in a little bit at a time. You didn't really hit us with it, with it hard because when, when you said it, I, I was kind of like, okay. But then you, you gave information as to why that would be better than being taxed on all of our income. So you really had it that way very well for us. Um, one other thing that um, I would like to have heard was maybe more of a, after you gave your, your solution with the fair tax information, like what what down what downsides to fair tax would there have been? Unless I missed it, I didn't hear anything about a downside to, to the fair <coughs> tax system. But I liked how you gave the website to go for more information, so that was great. Great information, love the speech, thank you very much. <laughs>